evening, for the first time ever, the three boys from the hottest show on television. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Matt LeBlanc, Matthew Perry and David Schwimmer! truth can be out now. You actually really honestly hate each other, don't you? <laughs> well, I'm glad somebody finally said finally. something. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's been gnawing at us. Yeah. It's a little awkward for us to actually be sitting this close to each other really? in real life. Yeah. 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 And traveling together. Oh. Oh. <laughs> can we talk about first impressions? The very first time that you all met in the first call. What did you think of each other? Matt, what did you think of the guys? Um, uh, <clears throat> my first impression of these guys, it was, it, it was sort of weird, you know, because I wanted to like everyone, but... <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I didn't really have a first impression of you guys, I, I, to tell you the truth. I, I mean, I was open-minded to the whole thing. I understand that the, their first impression of me was a little different, however. Oh, what, well, what was that? Who good-looking and dumb, you know? <laughs> <laughs> But that quickly changed. <laughs> he got in there quickly with that yeah. one. What about the girls? Did um, anyone fancy any of the girls, David? Uh, David? Uh, fan fancy. fancy. Well, when no, you first I don't met know those your, girls. your vernacular. <laughs> oh, yes, you do. Uh. <laughs> A little bird told me first time when you first met the girls. Yeah, I mean, I, sure, I, um, I was, you know, I was method, so, uh, uh, <laughs> no, I thought, you know, I, yeah, I was definitely attracted to all of them, and, <laughs> and I think, you know, I, I had a small crush on, um, Jennifer's character, uh, and, uh, no, I, I was in a very serious relationship at the time, and we all kind of knew, we had, like, a silent agreement that became verbal, um, after a while that <laughs> really that nothing was going to cross the friend friendship boundary that the six of us kind of established right from the start so well, now that's all out the oh. way <laughs> <laughs> yeah. now it's sex 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 <laughs> whoa let's rehearse let's have sex let's rehearse <laughs> oh, have a good time. yeah it's it's uh, it's kind of fun let's get on to the characters now joey how would you describe joey He's uh, good looking and dumb, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's, a, he's sort of, he's, I think in the beginning, um, and this comes from the producers as well, he was more of a two dimensional character. And then um, we had discussed that if he was as crass as he was and, and uh, egotistical, I, I didn't really buy, and I don't think any of us did, his relationship with the women, that they wouldn't really be friends with him. So they sort of opened it up a little more and made him a a little more sensitive without changing him too drastically. But may I say that, bless him, Joey sometimes can be just a, a little dumb. Oh, just he's a moron. Look. Have a look. Have a look. Why do you get to keep the table? <laughs> I did pay for half of it. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> I paid for the other half. All right, I'll tell you what. I'll play you for it. <laughs> All right, you're on. I could take two minutes out of my day to kick your ass. Your little men are going to get scored on more times than your sister. Whoa, 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 whoa. Which sister? Oh, but I have to say, Courtney Cox, I read that. Courtney Cox says that... Joey could never just be friends. You know, Harry met Sally time. But he could never just be friends with a girl. He can. He just always, you know, has that in the back of his head. He would hope that something else would, you know, he'd be friends as long as there's a shred of hope that maybe someday. You know. So is he a stud, guys? More so than these two, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is it true then? Okay, I'll is it true that um, he has a nickname? 
a love machine. Yeah. I, <laughs> you know, I gotta say, that's the first we've heard of that, and uh, I'm uncomfortable with it. <laughs> you know. But, uh, love machine. Do people actually call you love machine, Manny? Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know where that came from either. But you quite like that image. I actually mm. phoned phone that one in myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, would you think gave it to us? Uh, no, no, no. A nickname uh, <laughs> Love Machine. Yeah. <laughs> well, actually, here in London, Maddie and I were walking around in uh, Soho and about... <laughs> about <laughs> Is that, so is that a bad thing? No, 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 it's not. <laughs> not at all. Oh, that's why we're getting all those funny looks. <laughs> and, uh, and a bunch of people came up to, well, both of us, but came up to Maddie and just was like, you were in the show, the show Friends. And you're, you're great on the show. And I was standing about an inch away from him. <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, well, yeah, yeah Math Matthew's on it too. And they were all like, yeah, great. <laughs> that's Joey. True. That's oh. true. It's and not it was, true. That's was, happened to all of us. The series came to an end last Friday. And we saw you two kiss. That no? Yeah, that was your kiss. Well, the, oh, yes, yeah. yes. Come on. <laughs> doing doing uh, the kiss together, was it good no, for the two no, of you? No, no, we, we don't need to do that again. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, it was, it was, it was, it was, was funny. It was funny. It was fun. Uh, rehearsal was great, you know, because we got to do it again and again and again. Uh, no, I mean, it was, <laughs> it was kind of, it was kind of, you know. You're cool about doing that, though. You don't. Just because you acted. David really enjoyed it, I think. Yeah. Did he? Yeah. Um, can we talk about the old kiss as well? Because you've kissed everybody. You've kissed him as well on New Year's Eve, that memorable Chandler kiss. That well, didn't David one. Schwimmer, if I remember correctly, do something a little interesting right before you guys kissed? Yeah, it was very funny. Because oh, if you yeah, watch, if, if, if you watch the tape, <laughs> because he says to me, he says, shut your mouth and close your eyes or something like that. So there I am sitting like this, and, and I kind of went like that. And he goes... <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, no. It's, it's okay. Yeah, I mean, it, if I did that, and I have no recollection of that, it's uh, subconscious. David. Okay, okay. It's Don't because we're very. I mean, even now, you get when you're under the lights and you have a lot of makeup and constantly powdered, you get a lot of dry mouth. And so, yeah, sure. That's a good line. A good line. Now we're gonna okay, shift it. <laughs> we're gonna shift over to Chandler now. Good. Can we just have a look at a bit of Chandler? All right. Why isn't she calling me back? Maybe she never got your message. You know, if you want, you can call her machine, and if she has a lot of beeps, that means she probably didn't get her messages yet. You don't think that makes me seem a little desperate, needy, pathetic? <laughs> ah, you obviously saw my personal ad. <laughs> How many beeps? She answered. <laughs> you see, this is where you use that hello word we talked about. I'm not going to talk to her. She obviously got my message and is choosing not to call me. Now I'm needy and snubbed. God, I miss just being needy. <laughs> needy and snubbed. Is that how you see Chandler? That's exa those are great ways to describe Chandler. Yeah, and he, the girl didn't call him back because, did you see the way my hair looked in that? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's going to call him back. Yeah, Chandler is, you know, unlucky in love kind of uh, guy, generally. <laughs> Are you similar to Chandler? Uh, yes, absolutely. I look a lot like him. <laughs> it's extraordinary, that. <laughs> I mean, 